Disney has announced new details on the first Star Wars spin-off film. It will be called Rogue One and as rumored will star British actress Felicity Jones, best known for her role as Jane Wilde Hawking in The Theory of Everything. Disney hasn't revealed what exactly the film will be about, other than to say that it will explore the characters and events beyond the core Star Wars saga. Rogue Squadron happens to be the name of an elite rebel X-Wing fleet, so don't be surprised if that has something to do with it. Godzilla director Gareth Edwards was hired to direct the film last year, and it will hit theaters on December 16, 2016. Disney has also confirmed that Looper director Ryan Johnson will write and direct Star Wars Episode 8. The studio has set the film for release on May 26, 2017, 40 years to the day after the original Star Wars movie was first released. You won't have to wait much longer for the latest gadget from Apple, if you can afford it. The tech giant has announced that the Apple Watch will begin rolling out on April 24th, with pre-orders starting April 10th. Prices range from 450 Canadian dollars all the way up to 13,000, depending on what version of the device you want and how fancy the wristband is. Like most wearables, the Apple Watch is designed to work with a smartphone or tablet, in this case an iOS device. It can answer calls and text messages, play music, and is compatible with rudimentary apps. Oh, and it can also tell you what time it is. Smartwatches are still a niche product, so it remains to be seen if Apple can change that. That's it for the rundown. Now it's time for the super important rundown conversation. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. Breaking news. Scotty Jones is here. That's right. Let's talk about Apple because the watches are coming. Oh, uh, you know, uh, Apple had its event recently, yeah. and every journalist I know was at the event. Everybody was trying these things on. I followed all the coverage. I wasn't there myself, obviously. This thing is expensive for sure. Yeah. And uh, I like watches. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of an old guy. I mean, that's just true. I, I like the watch that I have. Have. I hope the iWatch is good and interesting, but it just feels like kind of a small, limited version of what my phone can do, and I'm not exactly sure yet why I need this thing. Uh, so we'll and see it's what expensive. happens. And we don't it's know if expensive. it's going to be better than the other wearable tech that's out there. And so far, most of the wearable tech that we've seen so far hasn't really been doing anything for me. So we'll see what this does. Uh, okay, I just feel like you're never gonna take that one off. I really do love this watch. I wanna give attached. it to my non-existent son <laughs> as a graduation oh, present. That's so sweet and yeah, really sad that I you hope mentioned he that. Someday. Okay, all right. Okay, let's move on to Star Wars, shall we? Okay, if you want to. <laughs> this spin-off film is called Rogue One, so what do you feel like it's going to be about? Well, Are you excited? All I can say is uh, my reaction uh, to the title yeah. is bad, because I don't feel like there's enough there to really hang a Star Wars movie on. It's just called Rogue One. I feel like this might not be the final you know, title, and maybe there's a list of no, possible the title? titles. It's, it's not a title. Like, what's I like Rogue the title. One? Why? What do, you, what do you mean, I feel why? like The Phantom Menace is a better title than Rogue well, One. Well, let's not compare Star Wars I'm titles. I'm comparing. Why don't we talk about the fact that Felicity Jones is going to be at the center of it. Well, I think she's fantastic. Name. She does have a lovely name. Right. Strong last name. The Jones family, for sure. Uh, I don't know. All the Star Wars stuff is still out there. I feel like it's a little yeah. premature for Disney to be saying, okay, by the way, you haven't got the first Star Wars movie yet, but we're going to start talking about the next one. We're going to tell you well, who the name is. We're going to tell you the director, blah, blah, blah. It's yeah. too soon. Just, just... Everybody slow down a yeah, little bit. Yeah, but everybody gets really excited about this. We're not that excited. I don't get that excited. All right, well, let's keep it uh, within the Disney princess realm, shall we? Mm -hmm. Or the Disney realm, I at like least. Princesses. You do. Well, we're going to go to your third favorite princess now. That's right. Number one is Zelda, oh. who, of course, my favorite uh, princess. Number yeah. two is Victor Lucas. He oh. looks great in a dress gown with a little crown on his head. Beautiful man. <laughs> and uh, number three, of course, would be Cinderella. 